sorry. Wake up! <clears throat> Calm down, Missy. Quit your fussing. It just grazed my leg. Sorry. I tried to fight him off, but one got away. Went to the restricted area. Don't worry about me. Go after him. <sighs> Let's go, Claude. you out. Forsetti, an Imperial officer, and I am Kai Shulin, proud soldier of the Federation. I have no brother. Is that so? Well, fine by me. I honestly don't care about anything. Not anymore. But you, Claude. I never thought you'd knowingly send good people to die. Least of all, your best friend. You knew it was Raz? I heard it all over the radio. And now, on your orders, this innocent girl is next. You make me sick. A Valkyrian power supply, and a living bomb. How many children do you think were sacrificed to develop this technology in the first place? And if that wasn't enough, you're about to murder countless more. You're right about one thing. This tech should never have seen the light of day. Using human lives as tools, as a means to an end. Only tragedy can come of it. But Angie made a choice to enter that reactor. She saw people's hearts being twisted by fear, and decided to do something about it. She's ending the war! She chose this, did she? <laughs> oh, Riley, you're as deranged as anyone in this godforsaken war. Angie would never throw her life away. We made a promise. She said she'd be waiting for me. That's why I vowed to save her. Only one here who's sick and twisted is you! Angie and Raz gave their lives for the sake of others. They knew that peace is the only cure. But you, everyone's just a pawn in your selfish little game. All you do is spread the disease. How can you say that? Everything I've done is for Angie. 
for all the Valkyria sacrificed by the Federation! Tell me, how many lives have you taken to save theirs? The elderly, the sick, and yes, even the children. How many of them have you killed for a few girls? Why would I ever bother keeping count? <sighs> You're not doing this for Angie at all. You betrayed your country. You abandoned your family. After everything you've done, she won't even know you. Do you really think Angie will be happy to see you? That she'll want to take your blood-stained hand? What do you mean? Of course she will. I came all this way to save her. I swore I would. And soon, that promise will be fulfilled. Not another inch! Stay away from Angie, or I'll shoot! Angie... Please! Sorry for the wait. I'll get you out of here. You shot me, your own brother. <laughs> what drove you to this... this madness? The guy I knew wasn't... he wasn't consumed by... <laughs> Madness. <laughs> if so, we're all mad here. <laughs> you soaked out your own allies and watched as they sank. <laughs> and now you're pointing a gun at your own flesh and blood. Who? Is the murderer here? Who's the traitor? Neither side is innocent. Least of all yours. Why? Why are you so obsessed with saving Angie? Don't you see? This is our sin. We have to atone for it. The United States of Vinland has launched numerous Valkyria hunts across Europa. They find girls with Valkyrian potential and take them from their homes. If not by bribery or blackmail, then by force. The number of children abducted in these hunts goes well into the triple digits. Angelica Farnaby is just one victim out of many. Over a hundred? At that point, it's just plain kidnapping. How could the Federation allow this? Government or military, everyone has a price. Vinland gave the Federation ample incentive. You mean they shared their new tech? Quick on the uptake as ever. Ragnite implosion has sparked a technological revolution. And you, Riley, made this massive enterprise possible. <sighs> During training, well before you ever set foot on the battlefield, 
I was chosen for a top secret mission. I was to escort the Valkyria from Vinland to Europa. Horrific experimentation had left these girls physically and mentally scarred. Some committed suicide en route. So when we reached shore, I leaked our whereabouts to the Empire. In the chaos that ensued, I helped the girls escape. At least, I tried. The Imperial forces were promptly routed. The Federation was well prepared, even for high treason. I was shot, and the army took the girls back. Only one was able to avoid detection. Her name was Angelica. I told her to run, but she chose to stay by my side. As I lay bleeding out on the ground, she tended to my wound. She smiled and said she had no home to return to anyway. Before I could stop her, she turned herself in. All to give me a chance to escape, to let me live. Had I been caught, I would have been shot on sight. Angie. Thus, I made a vow. I swore I'd save her, and that together, we'd go home. Not to the Federation, nor the Empire, nor Vinland. Somewhere we could live in peace. I know full well the weight of my sins. But I wanted to atone, to protect her. In this rotting world, she alone was left untainted. A heavenly light in the bowels of hell. If it wasn't for her... If not for her... Then what were we fighting for? I have to protect her. I promised. Claude, please. Kai. <laughs> Riley, let's go.